is the seventh annual Haney's Corner Art Festival presented by Funk in the City. And we have over 105 artists here today that are from primarily around the region, but then we also have some special guests that come from as far away as Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, and we have uh, this year from Gillette, Wyoming, made the 24-hour drive as uh, Chris Amon. We've gotten a lot of, a lot of um, attention, lots of people stopping to look, and made some friends and some fans, so it's been great for me so far. I strive to make it uh, universal enough that others will will recognize things there or, or see resonance in their own experience. But um, I tend to work very personally with their events from my life, things I'm going through, the things I love and the things that drive me crazy and that sort of thing. I think it's great. I love it down here. Um, the buildings, you know, are part of my inspiration, these types of buildings. and. It's a beautiful setting and um, it seems to draw a good crowd. I like it. This is my third year down here. I think it's a great event. Um, I think it's a good location and I do know they've had a lot of artists and they have a waiting list to get out here. I like to combine a lot of textures. I will throw and then hand build on most of my pieces. Um, color and texture and form are very important to me and, and items from nature. I have a lot of leaves or um, vessels to display flowers. I've been coming here every year since the beginning. These little squares, for example, I stamp that one at a time with a leather stamp and then I fire it. Then I take copper, powdered copper, and I rub it in where I want it and I rub it off all except for the eight squares. And then I glaze over it and fire it again. I just like to be free with a knife and go for it. I paint mostly with a knife. This is just a good show. There's always a lot of people. We operate Glowing Sands Glass Art, uh, a gallery down here in the Haney's Corner Arts District. Um, we've got blown glass, uh, kiln formed glass, uh, and photography. Well, the style is kind of a, a mix of some Venetian technique that's kind of been transferred over to the torch, uh, the Haynes Corner Art Festival, uh, the traffic that it brings um, just gives you an idea of what could be down here on a regular basis. They can see firsthand the progress that's being made with the Arts District and with all of the hard work that lots of people have put into this. You Resources loves Funk in the City! And, and also just realize that, you know, we really have a thriving arts community in Evansville. Uh, we're very proud that with this event we're able to draw a lot of attention to this very special neighborhood and to the cause of, of improving and growing the arts community in, our, in Evansville.